Well, it was a long, difficult battle, but I did manage to pull it off without another fatality. So, uh, well, without me facing a fatality. There were, there were many fatalities, but uh, it looks like the way is clear now. Very upsetting. I am. I, I'm. I'm gonna search for a house someplace else. Oh, another one of you! Come on. Why do you still fight on? Maybe you two can suffer with your brethren in this lot and let your blood seep into the seas of the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve after all you've done? What would you know about what I deserve? Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he would thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends? To his father. looking pretty rough that night she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senua. 
Look at me. Do you hear them? They're calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? You didn't say it was my fault. Was that in my head too? Come back to me. Please. This darkness come between us. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. Is that my mom? Senua, Senua. My mom! We, we're back. We found her. We found you. We thought we lost. Where have you been? Here she is. Don't worry. We're here to help you. You don't have to do this on your own anymore. You need us. There's a way in. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? shallow sea and it looks to be freezing cold and I, I don't think I can go yeah no I'm, I'm definitely stuck there maybe they mean up here <coughs> trying, trying to make this somewhat less excruciatingly painful on my butt so I put two pillows under me. Two pillows. There you go. There you go. there. 
a way to get up there. I don't really know. There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Sedwan. Go away. I'm not listening. Need for a world tree. Looks like a tree with an upset face on it. Whoa! tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. But you can feel it. It's behind the door. What is it? She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. No, go in. Don't open it. What's it? Get back! Great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Shadows, your sword is useless here. What about my mirror? I really don't want to go into the shadows then. Useless here. Alright, well, then I need to get to the light. I've got fire. Don't be fooled. Beast is still here. Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. It's so full of hate. It's a trap. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. I won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? It's coming! It's 
Senor, help me. Help, get me out of here. Don't go. Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father. It's in Bell. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now. Does it? All right, create as much light as possible. That's what you say. Impressive effect. Every time I step into the light, I don't know if you've noticed, but every time I step into the light, the corona of light on my screen grows again. And the longer I stay out of it, Jesus! Remember your training. Oh, 
shame. See if from above, is that it? Okay. You have it. Keep going. Where's the next? Two more to find. I can feel the two more to find. Why is that? This is pointless. Time. Do you think this is? The symbols are pointless. They're meaningless. Your mother's here. What if you collect them and there's nothing behind the door? Say, Dillian, this door is just another trial. Just another trick. Just to distract her from her real mission. Alright, ladies, just calm down. Your mother is dead. You don't know anything, who is she? And Dillian is dead. Hey. There's a torch down there. The beast has been here. Rain the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir. Ah, ah, ah. She has it. She did it. There's the room. This place. It reminds her of the isolated. Suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her. Father was a dick.
The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all. Her torch is going out. No, it's not. It's going to run out soon. She hasn't got much time. Out. She's too slow. It's not going to burn out. The darkness will come again. The light will save You killed us. You killed us. She escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Seems to me that the biggest source of darkness in Senwa's life was her father, who was a complete dick. That's the story. I'll catch you next time 
on my wacky gaming channel.